guys, it's me Maria Maria. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I make videos on life in Germany, language learning, and not just the German language. I also make videos on lifestyle like conmary, decluttering, and home organization, travel, and fitness. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing some of the most distinctive things on how a German Christmas looks like. These are purely based on my experiences and observations and so because this is my first year and first time of spending Christmas here in Germany and it's not over yet so I might miss out on some more other things mainly because I have not experienced it yet or I have not been aware of it yet but nonetheless let's get right into the business first on my list the Advent Kranz so what Germans usually do is that they get this Advent wreath which has four candles in it and they light up each candle on every Sunday leading up to the last Sunday before Christmas. Mm, I heard this is not just a German thing but also a European thing but for me this is totally new. It doesn't exist in the tradition in my home country which is the Philippines so it might be as well worth mentioning here in my list. Which leads me to the next one on my list we have the Advent calendar. This Advent calendar is one of the things I loved most in this Christmas traditions, I really like this activity a lot, but it can be very expensive. Some advanced calendar are store-bought and some can really be personalized. Those um, store-bought advanced calendar could look like this. I have it with me. Here you go. So it consists of 24 small doors and you get to open one each day according to what date it is. And this advent calendar is a gift for me. It was given to me by my neighbor and it is advent calendar with different varieties of stolen. So today I would also need to open one and today is the 16th of December. So I'm going to have to look for the 16th door. It is somehow difficult to find because it's not so obvious. I couldn't read it. I have to go one by one. Where is the 16? Let's see. Okay, so there you go. I found the 16 and now I'm gonna open it. And there you go. Mandel flavored Stollen. Okay, let's give it a try. So by the way guys, Stollen is also a Christmas food here in Germany. It looks like this here. But it normally comes in bigger sizes, you know, those cakes, it, big ones and yeah I kind of like that it comes in small pieces because I am not usually a big eater of sweets so I just like it when it comes in small pieces so I could just have a bite you know and actually by having small bites I don't realize that I'm already eating too much so that could be also dangerous <laughs> but yeah this is still and let me have a bite let's see mmm I really love this so yeah, a lot of these advanced calendars consist of sweets and chocolates, but lately I've been seeing new interesting styles of advanced calendar. Um, there is one that has um, mini beers, beer bottles in it, and you know, it's a perfect gift for, for your brother, for your boyfriend, for your father, because it's, or for just someone who loves drinking beers actually, because you get to open one door where it has these mini beers with different flavors and it's just so cool, right? And also, lately, I've been seeing this Advent calendar, which is pretty naughty. So, it's probably for couples, you know, and you get to open one each. And it has those, you know, kinky toys in it. Germany. Next, we have the Christmas markets. I love the German Christmas markets. When I go into one, I feel that I am being turned into a kid again. I love that there are these clusters of wooden houses or wooden huts with Christmas lights in it. There's food and drinks and trinkets and whatnot. It's probably the next best thing for me next to Disneyland. <laughs> And by the way guys, I am doing a separate video on the Christmas market food and tour, so you better watch out for that. And speaking of food and drinks, I will be mentioning two of them right here. One is the Glühwein. 
It is a very, very popular drink here in Germany during Christmas time. But it did not originated here in Germany. It is actually invented by the Romans. So here in Germany, the typical recipe for Glühwein is red wine, sugar, cinnamon, cloves, and an orange. When I go to the Christmas markets, I have seen a lot of varieties of Glühwein. It is not just the classic Glühwein, but it also has the Heidelbeer Glühwein or it is the blueberry blue vine or blueberry world wine. We also have the Weisse blue vine, which is made from white wine, actually. And the very famous one is a blue vine mit Schiss, or it's a mulled wine with a shot of amaretto or rum, which probably is the least of my favorites. I still like the classic ones, of course. Another Christmas food tradition here in Germany, we have the raclette dinner. It is usually during the Christmas Eve dinner, but recently we just hosted a raclette dinner with friends because that's probably the last time we get to hang out before we head on to each other's or to each of our families during Christmas. So yeah, it was really nice. I'm gonna have a b-roll for that. So here we go. This is how a raclette dinner looks like. There is the raclette grill and it has these little pans what we usually do is we put some ingredients in these little pans like corns, potatoes and others and top it off with the signature raclette cheese and put it on the grill till the cheese has melted. Mm, Mamma mia! So lecker! Another German Christmas tradition is the Nikolaustag or the Saint Nicholas Day. I got to experience this myself when I woke up the day of the 16th of December and I found out that my shoes outside the door had some chocolate, sweets and oranges in it. So what usually happens on the Nikolaustag is that on the night of the 15th of December, kids put out their shoes outside the door. It should be really clean, you know, because St. Nicholas will be coming to put some sweets in it if they've been good. But if they've been bad, St. Nicholas would put twigs in it. Uh, but yeah, I guess because Santa Claus or Saint Nicholas is coming on the 6th of December instead of the 24th of December, I guess you could say that's also kind of a German efficiency, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's also worth mentioning that here in Germany, Germans do not have Christmas stockings. So I guess that kind of replaces this whole tradition of Christmas stockings with the Christmas shoes. So that's up to what I have experienced and observed so far. I still got the rest of the month to discover more of the Christmas traditions here in Germany. Oh, and by the way, one thing that is quite surprising for me is that Germans decorate their Christmas trees usually the day before the Christmas. It is way different than what we used to do back in my home country because we Filipinos start decorating our Christmas tree at the beginning of the month. Filipinos even put up lights, Christmas lights, already at the beginning of September. You know, when the burn month kicks in, I guess that simply shows the enthusiasm of us Filipinos. And there's another one that I have found out just now. The Christmas Eve in Germany, also called as Heiliger Abend in German, has another German phrase for that, or German word. It is called Dickbauch. Dickbauch. I know it sounds pretty weird, but in German, dick means fat and bauch means the stomach. So put together, it means fat stomach. And tradition has it that those who do not eat a lot during the Christmas Eve will be hunted by demons. Hence, the dick bauch. I must say these are the critical times for me here in Germany because it involves a lot of eating. And so far, for the past three months, I've already gained three kilos. Oh my god, I am afraid I got three more months to spend, so I don't know how will I turn out or how many more pounds will I gain before I go back to the Philippines. So you've reached the end of this video guys. If you are still with me right now, thank you, thank you so much. And if you know some other traditions of Germans during Christmas times, please do write them down in the comment section down below. I would love to read all of those. Once again, thank you so much. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do hit the subscribe with the bell button and show some love by hitting the thumbs up button. See you on my next video, guys. Cheers!
There you go. I found a 16 and now I'm going to open it. Oh my god. Today is 17. 